Okay, so today we're collecting pollen off the quote-unquote pencil cactus, Echinoceras posuguri, because this is an obligate outcrosser, okay? It's not a self-fertile species. Most cacti, in fact, are obligate outcrossers. So what we're gonna do, I got the little tweezers, I got uh, one of these uh, sketchy looking drug baggies, as you can see, I've already filled with the pollen, and uh, well, actually the stamens, I ripped the entire stamens off. This is why it's very good to know your flower morphology, right? Get this study in, fucko. Okay, and so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna hold this open. I can't do this, unfortunately, you know, I need a fucking GoPro or something, which I'm absolutely not gonna get. But I'm gonna uh, take some of the stamens off, put them in this little bag, then put this in the freezer, and then use it to pollinate. I got nine other individuals, different genetic individuals of this species. They're not just clones. And so it's, since it's an obligate outcrosser, you need different plants. But they're not flowering right now. This one's flowering first because it's against a wall. It's a little, you know, microclimate here. It's getting more warm than the others. So I'm gonna put this in a freezer, save it, and then use it to pollinate the other plants because I need seed of this to reintroduce to habitat. I need it for thorn scrub sanctuary. We should be closing on the land hopefully in a month or two. And uh but we're gonna have a mortgage. So I'll still be I'll still be soliciting donations from you. Uh <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna use it to pollinate the other ones and then uh, get a nice fruit get tons of seed, you know, it should take upwards of a month to mature, maybe less, and then I'll be growing a shit ton more of these plants, increasing the uh, genetic diversity. I'm also doing the same with this Astrophyta mysterious, all right, from wild collected seed. So this is a this is a very important plant to be cultivating. I've got numerous other Astrophytum individuals. You can see there's one right there, but it's not flying yet. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the pollen, freeze it, and then use it to pollinate other plants to get good seed. There you go, I got these these nice forked tweezers off Scamazon, and that's what I'm gonna be using to pollinate, uh, you know, to rip off the uh, stamen. There you go, I got these nice these nice little bent tweezers, these pointy bent tweezers off Scamazon out of fucking, there you go. And that's what I'm gonna be using to rip off the stamens. I'm collecting as many stamens as possible since they're basically useless, since there's no other flowers, no other plants flowering at this time. I'm gonna stuff them all in a bag, save that pollen. Pollen can stay, you know, stay like that over for six months and then I'll use it to pollinate other plants. There you go. You know, I got tons of shit I gotta be doing right now. I'm writing a fucking book, got videos to edit. I'm just procrastinating. Anything I can do to procrastinate, but I wanted to show you this because this is very important, okay? This is a real game changer. Como se dice nice, right? It means two plants don't need to be flowering at the same time. Two plants of the same species, if it's an obligate outcrosser and doesn't sell, don't need to be flowering at the same time if you're trying to produce seed, if you're basically trying to farm seed off of them, all right, to make more plants, all right, for restoration efforts, to, to give to friends, to sell, whatever the fuck, all right? You just get one of these nice, uh, get one of these nice uh, fucking tweezers, you use your free, your freezer and, uh, and a nice plastic bag and, uh, there you go. I'd like to thank my friend Peter Bernhardt for reminding me this could be done, too. I forgot about it. I totally forgot about it. I used to actually, you know, breed some of these things a few years ago when I lived in Oakland, but not since I've been out here. So anyway, that's all I got. Have a great day. Go put you some bye.